The anticipation for Final Destination 6 is building as details emerge about this reboot of the popular franchise. The film's development has faced numerous delays, including setbacks due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Co-directed by Zach Lepofsky and Adam B. Stein, with the creative input of Guy Busick, the screenwriter behind Scream VI, the project promises an intriguing departure from its predecessors. In a recent exclusive interview with the direct's Russ Milheim, Production designer Rachel O'Toole shared that the team now officially considers Final Destination 6 a reboot. They had been on the cusp of beginning production, just two weeks away from cameras rolling, when the unfortunate writer's strike intervened. O'Toole expressed her genuine enthusiasm for the script, emphasizing a fresh take on the franchise, suggesting that this revitalized installment will break new ground. Interestingly, it's been revealed that Tony Todd will reprise his role as William Bloodworth, a recurring and enigmatic character in the series who assists victims in confronting their dire circumstances. While the term reboot implies a departure from previous storylines, the return of Todd as the same character raises intriguing questions about the extent of this fresh start. Despite the uncertainties, fans can take solace in the fact that the next Final Destination chapter is closer to becoming a reality. As soon as the ongoing SAG AFTRA strike is resolved, filming is poised to commence, according to franchise creator Jeffrey Reddick. He even hinted at the project being well worth the wait. The success of Saw X, the tenth entry in the Saw franchise, provides hope that Final Destination 6 could likewise experience a resurgence. Fans eagerly await the return of this beloved series, and, with any luck, it will follow in the footsteps of other successful horror franchises like Saw. While there's no official release date for Final Destination 6 as of yet, the prospects of this fresh take on the series are undeniably exciting. Till I get up, time is barely on our side